My name is Jackie Deals. I'm an occupational therapist. Uh, for the last 27 years, I've specialized in the treatment of non-surgical facial nerve paralysis. So my entire practice has been devoted specifically to treating patients who have facial paralysis from a variety of causes. Facial paralysis can be caused by tumors, viral infection, traumatic injury, and children can be born with facial paralysis. That's called congenital facial paralysis. Facial paralysis can uh, be very misunderstood because um, at the beginning when a patient has facial paralysis, their face doesn't work at all. The entire affected side, and usually it's just one side, but the entire affected side can be completely paralyzed. The eye can be wide open and get very, very dry. The corner of the mouth can sag down. The, the entire side of the face becomes very f kind of flaccid and flat looking. And then for many of the patients who have facial paralysis, the nerve does begin to heal. And it heals very gradually and very slowly so that the muscle tone of the face starts to get better and better and better. And in a segment of patients, the face can actually overcorrect where they get abnormal movements that can be caused by um, kind of a cross wiring of the facial nerve as it recovers. So for example, when they smile, their eye might close or their neck might pull and their face will move sort of in an uncontrollable way. And the basis of the training is really to teach people what their facial muscles do because none of us know what our facial muscles do. We never think about it until something goes wrong and then you have to think, oh my gosh, how do I smile? What do I do? Very often the effects of facial paralysis can be greatly improved by facial neuromuscular retraining. So the training starts off with education. What muscles do what? We're all very well aware that when we flex our elbow, our bicep muscle flexes. But nobody knows, for example, that when you smile, you don't smile with your mouth. It looks like you do, but you're actually smiling with your cheek muscles. And the cheeks pull up the corner of the mouth. Your face shows every emotion, and there are very direct connections between the emotional centers of your brain and your face. And the therapy has to reflect the brain connection to the facial muscles as well as just the physical connection.